Dear friends, welcome to the eighth installment of the USEM Innovation Series on megatrends and their impact on society, consumers, and companies. I'm Joost van Nispen, founder of USEM, the Innovation Institute at ASIC Business and Marketing School. And at Twitter, I'm Joost Tom. In a world where algorithm rules, we look more and more for the human element. Real humans, and including, as we will see, not so real humans, that look and act like humans. We're talking about nothing less than the rehumanization of our relationship with brand. More and more consumers are tired of technological, virtual, and automated contexts. And they look for real interactions with real human representatives of the brands that they consider. The real people behind the brands in this trend, in this mega trend, are stepping into the spotlight, starting with the CEOs, which are needing to become more accessible in person and also virtually, because they increasingly embody and humanize their brands. Someone like Tim Cook of Apple would be just one out of an increasing number of very high profile examples. More main content is contributed by real people with a stake in the brand, management, employees, past and present customers, neighbors. These stakeholders are now capable of communicating message with far higher levels of credibility and far profounder levels of engagement with their customers than ever before. The better you treat your employees, the more brand ambassadors you can count on having. So social employee advocacy, in which brand increasingly depend on the people who make up their work teams, is part of this trend. Amplify by Hootsuite is an app through which companies increase their audiences and credibility in social media by empowering employees and turning them into brand ambassadors in their personal social media profiles. Uh, it's definitely the fastest way nowadays that a company can increase its audience on social media and its credibility. A very special case of the humanization of the brand is the rise of avatars. Because it's not always possible, let alone scalable, to have real humans do all this heavy lifting. And it reminds me of Second Life of more than 10 years ago, which was tremendously hyped, but finally did not work out because it was really 10 years ahead of its time. Now, technology, especially avatar technology, has matured somewhat. There's still a, a lot to go, but more and more we're finding, and this will be an increasing upward trend, that the humanization of the contact with the brand includes the increasing use of avatars. So if a human contact is not available or not scalable, avatars can help. Avatars will humanize the contact between consumers and their brands. So we're finding not just live CEOs, but CEO avatars and, pro and, 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 and spokespeople, uh, especially in things that have to do with corporate social responsibility. Avatars created by consumers themselves to humanize things like training services, tutorials, manuals on assembly processes, maintenance, troubleshooting, what have you. These interactions will be enriched increasingly with elements derived from gaming. So there are two megatrends, the playsumer uh, gaming on one side and the humanization through avatars reach hands mutually. Avatars increasingly will facilitate also active listening and therefore increase an ever more detailed knowledge of the user by companies sensitive enough to do this properly. We're seeing everywhere the rise of virtual influencers. And here you have a nice view of, in fact, basically very global view of brands that rely on avatars to be virtual influencers. The first person you see here 
is Wendy's Red Haired Avatar, which participates in the live streams of the Fortnite game. And as part of the Fortnite game, she enters burger shops and smashes into pieces freezers with frozen meat. Now, why is this? Well, it's part of this trend in which consumers are forming ever deeper connections with the brands and bring them to life. In the case of Wendy, Wendy prides itself on the fact that their burger's meat is never frozen. It is fresh meat, not frozen meat. So in the Fortnite game, the red-haired girl actually demonstrate this in an unforgettable way. And in fact, this, this was so successful that um, not only did they win a Grand Prix in Cannes in 2009, for their Keeping Fortnite Fresh campaign. Uh, but many, many, many of the players of Fortnite joined the Wendy red-haired girl uh, in smashing up examples of frozen produce all throughout the game. Uh, amazing example of customer engagement through avatars. We're also finding the humanization of virtual events by populating them with avatars. Let's face it. We all have gone to congresses, to events, uh, to conferences, and their virtual manifestations no longer really satisfy. But then, face-to-face -face conferences generate emission, contamination, and require often long trips that are more and more difficult to justify. So, how to combine these two? Well, we're finding an emerging trend of humanizing online conferences with avatars. These events use avatars. Uh, they're based on virtual reality and you can participate with or without glasses in which the, partici the, the participants themselves create their own avatars while the organizers create the avatars uh, that populate the different stands uh, in which the exhibitors engage with customers. The human element will be ever more important, be they real humans or imaginary humans. In the next segment, we will explore a megatrend that impacts directly in how we relate to one another and the brands we consider. I hope to see you there. Thank you very much.